We seem to be all in the same boat. Ladies, take the helm. I think working with men, they, they tend to to take over. Not in this class. Women at the Wheel, run by the Annapolis School of Seamanship, puts women in the captain's seat. I just want to be a little bit more confident that I can take the boat out by myself or with my daughter uh, without my husband being around. Making turns in tight spots. To be able to turn around, um, we use what we call a 360 pivot. And it'll be turning the wheel all the way one way, putting it forward, turning all the way back the other way, reverse and you're just keeping it in gear long enough to pivot the boat, not to make any forward or reverse progress. And learning how to dock a boat. Moving up to a mooring and trying not to hit it, Captain Devin Noon says a tap is okay. Just because I grew up here, I feel like it's something that I should know. And if I say I've boated my whole life, I feel like I should have something to show for it <laughs> instead of just being really good at being a passenger. A passenger on her dad's boat until today. Gwen Evans and her mom Clay spent the weekend learning together. Like getting in a car, you don't just get in for the first time and take off, you have to practice. <laughs> And practicing, these women say, goes better when their husband or dad or boyfriend isn't in their ear. I feel more free to make mistakes here. You're not going to be as judged and, and people are a little more supportive. Brig sponsors the boats. The idea started on land with Chesapeake Bay Media Executive Vice President Tara Davis. I said I would totally take my girlfriends out on this if I knew how. I felt the need that there was um, a space for bringing women out onto the water. She convinced Captain John Martino, the co-owner of Chesapeake Bay Media and president of its sister company, the Annapolis School of Seamanship, to put it on the water. They want to learn in a group. It's more social. And so we've found that this has been super successful. That how-to is easier with time in the driver's seat. Boating tends to be a boys club, like, you know, a lot of things, and it can be hard to break into. It's out of the sunshine and certainly not as much fun, but the classroom activity helps the women get one step closer to earning their Maryland Safe Boating Certificate. After the women complete the class, the certificate means they meet all the mandatory boating education requirements in 49 U.S. states, along with the confidence to power a single outboard. If you started this program at the beginning of the summer and had a means to be able to get out there um, on a weekly basis, you'd be ready to go out on your own by the end of the summer. With the women at the wheel, for Chesapeake Bay Magazine's Babel Litton, I'm Cheryl Costello.